Okay, I'm about to show you a very easy soup recipe. Um, probably the easiest one you're going to find without um, just getting it out of the can yourself. This is a recipe from the One Pot Chef here on YouTube. And I will post um, the link to his video in the sidebar. But I've changed it up a little bit to suit me. And really there's only three ingredients in his version. So I'll kind of show you my twist on the, at those three ingredients. First, um, his recipe called for four cups of water, and he boiled the water first. I'm just going to let this water um, sim uh, simmer and heat up with the sauce, but I'm only using two cups because I'm going to um, scale down the recipe some so I don't have so much left. And then you'll need a jar of uh, pasta sauce, tomato sauce. Now, I'm just gonna, I'm only going to use a half of this. Um, his called for a whole, let's see, well his was 500 grams, um, and this is one pound, it's 10 ounces, so I'm going to use five ounces of this, but if you're making the whole recipe, you can just throw the whole jar in there and do four cups of water. Now he used a cup of just white rice, and I'm going to use a half a cup, maybe not even a half, of quinoa and that's what I have in here that's what quinoa looks like if you've never seen it, it looks like little pebbles I guess but um, it's uh, got protein in it six grams for a fourth of a cup so it's a good alternative to rice or you could use brown rice but those are the three ingredients of the actual recipe and you can flavor it up however you like you can add uh, vegetables you can add meat um, whatever or you can just use the three ingredients like he did. But I'm going to add some sautéed mushrooms and green pepper. Because this has mushroom and green pepper in the pasta sauce, I'm just going to bulk it up a little bit. And I'm probably, well, I may add some of the uh, corin, the meat substitute I showed last week in my um, grocery bag. I may add some of that as well after I get it going. But first, what you're going to do is, let's come over here. You're going to take a pot, and I'm going to use this big pot, and I'm going to turn this on, well, let's turn it on six to start out with. And I'm just going to heat together, or kind of boil, not boil, but heat together the water, the two cups of water, and a half of this spaghetti sauce. And this is basically just making the, oh, it's sloshing, but that's okay. It's making this soup base, let's see, just a little bit more. And see, this one is chunky, so that's good. And you can use the other half for something else. Okay, now, basically I'm just going to stir this. And see, he heated his water, he heated the sauce first and, had, and added boiling water to it. I'm just going to... Heat it all up together till it not really boils, but till it gets really hot. And I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, I've heated this. If you can see the steam coming off of it, um, it's just you know heated together. It looks kind of like a <clears throat> like a tomato soup. He said a cheapo. You're making a cheapo tomato soup, but it really doesn't. But it's just thinner because the rice or the quinoa are gonna, is going to soak up some of the water. So I'm going to go ahead and add. The quinoa. Let's see. Let me stir that around and see. That's just a fourth of a cup. And I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and do this whole recipe because I think this quinoa is going to soak up a lot of that juice. So I'm going to go ahead and put a half a cup. Now he said a cup of rice, but I'm just doing a half of a cup of quinoa. And I'm going to get another, let's do another two cups of water. Yeah, and I can just eat on this. And I'm going to add the rest of the sauce. Now, it's not quite 
the rest of the sauce because it was 500 grams and this one it like I said was 730 so I'm going to leave just a little bit in the jar okay and this is what it looks like when you put and this is just the basic recipe yeah that's going to be better because I don't want it to be a real thick soup because I like it when I have soup like this because I, I feel like I can eat you know more and I have a heartier portion but it's really not that much calories at all so I'm going to stir that together and then I'm going to add in my peppers and mushrooms and I just sauteed these until they were a little bit soft okay and then you just stir that together God, that looks good so far. See what it looks like? And it's really simple. You could just really do those three ingredients and see this sauce has chunks. Let's see if I can find it. Like those tomato chunks, you could use a chunky sauce. You wouldn't even have to add any more vegetables. But I thought quinoa was the best choice for us um, as weight loss surgery uh, patients. But if you're not, you could do rice. Or you could, anyway, just you know add less. But I'm just doing a half a cup of the quinoa. Okay, now you're going to just put the lid on and just let it boil until the quinoa is done and then your soup will be done. So let's just let it go about 15 minutes and I'll be back. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's done. It's a little bit thick. I mean, you could add some more of the sauce or more water if you want it thinner. And then I've already dished up, here's my bowl. It's, it's a small, I guess a dessert bowl. And because it's got a lot of juice, that's what it looks like. And I put some crack, cracked black pepper on the top. And this is Joe's bowl. So if you have any questions, um, let me know. And try to make this simple soup and add your own spin. And uh, let me know what you think. I'll talk again soon. Bye.